Good morning, everyone. We have a lot to talk about today, so let's get to it. Evidence has come out that Blinken has been covering for Israel, knowing that they have been blocking aid to the Palestinians. Hezbollah has launched its first ballistic missile into Israel, and Chapel Roan thinks voting for Kamala might be a bad idea because she's pro-genocide. If you haven't been following the news, the United States Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, testified before Congress that he had no knowledge or any information that would lead him to believe that Israel was blocking aid to the Palestinians. Now, he said this while they were putting rocks in the street. Like, you could see with your own eyes it was happening as he was lying to Congress. I mean, he's a war criminal, and he's a piece of shit, so that's what they do. They lie and they hide things. It turns out that two governmental agencies from the United States had informed him well beforehand that indeed they were blocking aid at an alarming rate and causing a great deal of concern while killing aid workers that were even from the United States. International agencies were warning them of violating human rights laws and so were internal State Department memoranda. But Blinken decided it would be best to go before Congress and lie. And you wonder why there is impunity, and you wonder why Israel feels like it can do whatever it wants to do. Now what happens when Russia sees this and says, well, Israel can kill 15,000 babies. Let's just line up the babies. Nobody seems to care about that. Or North Korea just says, hey, um, I guess it's okay to murder women and children so long as we pretend like we're looking for something that is nefarious, right? I guess we don't get it that that's what could end up happening. So now we have our Secretary of State verifiably lying to Congress to cover for Israel. Blinken is a dual citizen with Israel. Next, I'd like to discuss the issue of the ballistic missile that was fired by Hezbollah towards the Mossad agency near Tel Aviv. So they are in the process now of what Shin Bet, which is a Israeli defense agency, says, scratching the surface of the abilities of return fire. Shockingly, Hezbollah has only been uh, attacking areas that are occupied, and military targets, whereas Israel will just bomb anybody and anything to get that rush, I guess. Ballistic missile was fired, and now it's believed by Shin Beit that all of Israel is within the target of Hezbollah, when it was believed before that only the northern area would be. Today, the hypersonic missile was blown out of the sky, and it is believed by the Israeli occupation forces that the intent is to test these ballistic and hypersonic missiles before trying to flood the Iron Dome with cruise missiles and confusing missiles before they fire further into Israel. Now Hezbollah has made it clear, just stop in Gaza and we'll stop firing and then your people can return to the north where they have occupied southern Lebanon and northern Palestine. Israeli economists have said that operating the Iron Dome so far against Hezbollah has cost them $1.3 trillion. And the cost of continuing to operate it, if they have the munitions to be able to keep up with the amount of rockets that Hezbollah claims to have, would be astronomical. Speaking factually, Hezbollah has only targeted occupied areas, and military structures. Israel has really only targeted civilian structures. Israel will claim that Hezbollah is using these people as human shields, but really aren't settlers just human shields? You're just putting them in a buffer zone to get attacked, knowing that you have confiscated land that doesn't belong you. So the human shields argument doesn't make any sense to me. Additionally, if they say that they're attacking civilians, my question is this. 
if every single person is conscripted into the military, then isn't every single person a military officer or military personnel at that point? So who are the civilians? I'm not saying anybody deserves any of this, and I hope that none of this escalates. What I'm saying is the semantics of the Zionist regime are bullshit. And finally, Chapel Rome. All I know is that this person, who I'd never heard of before yesterday, had made a point of saying that she doesn't support genocide. It appeared as though she might have supported the third party or something because she believes that Kamala Harris and Donald Trump will support genocide. Boy, did she get a lot of backlash for that. I guess for the, the only thing I have to say to people about that is you're, you're just stupid. Let her say whatever the fuck she wants to say. It's a free country. We have freedom of speech. Elon Musk hasn't killed it yet. And if Miss Roan believes that that's the right thing for her, let her vote her conscience. Yes, that's a shark behind me. Yes, the symbolism is 100% intended. And if there is any more news, yes, I will bring it to you as soon as I can.